Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're venturing into an exciting new addition to our 5M server, a comprehensive pet system. Because let's face it, who doesn't love the idea of a loyal companion by their side during their virtual adventures? Pets add a layer of companionship and fun that enhances the overall gameplay experience, making the world feel more alive and interactive. I'm Brave, and I'm here to guide you through the process of integrating this delightful feature into our server, ensuring that every player has the chance to enjoy the company of a furry friend. So, let's get started and bring some extra joy into our 5M community with our new adorable companions. To embark on this exciting enhancement, head straight to our GitHub download page. You'll find the link thoughtfully provided in the video description for quick and easy access. Once you arrive at the download page, proceed to download the package, unzip it, and you'll be greeted with all the essential files needed for this pet system integration. After extracting the files, copy them and paste them into your chosen server repository. To ensure your files remain well organized and easily manageable, I recommend renaming each folder by removing the main suffix. This little step goes a long way in keeping your server files tidy. Next, dive into the script folder. The first thing you'll want to do is deal with the inventory images. Copy all the provided images and navigate to your QB folder, then into QB inventory slash HTML slash images. Paste the images here to ensure your pet items have the proper visuals in the inventory system. Now, to integrate the pets as tangible items within the game, you'll need to add them to your item list. This is done by navigating to QB core slash shared slash items. To incorporate the new pet system items into your server, first, ensure there's adequate space in your items file for these additions. Then, head back to the GitHub page to review the items associated with the pet system. Copy these items and paste them into your items file within QB core slash shared. This step is crucial for introducing the pet items into your server's economy and inventory system. Next, to set up the pet shop where players can acquire these pets, navigate to QB shop slash config. At the beginning of this file, you'll notice configurations for various shops and the items they sell. Scroll to the end of this function to find an appropriate place to integrate the new pet shop. Return to GitHub, copy the shop code lines provided for the pet shop, and paste them into the config file at the designated spot. After adding the shop items, it's time to physically place the pet shop within the game world. Scroll to the very bottom of the config file in QB Shops, head back to GitHub, and copy the second set of code lines that specify the shop's location on the map. You have the freedom to adjust the coordinates to suit your server's layout and preferences, ensuring the pet shop is easily accessible to players. The final step involves enhancing the user interface to include tooltips for the pet items, providing players with information about each pet. For this, return to GitHub one last time and copy the lines designated for tooltips. Then, in your server files, navigate to QB inventory slash HTML slash J's and open the app JJS file. In the app JJS file within QB inventory slash HTML slash JS, you'll want to locate the function related to ID underscore card as demonstrated in the video. This is where you'll integrate the pet system code, strategically placing it just after the ID underscore card section and before the driver's license code, ensuring a logical flow within the inventory system. After positioning the pet system code appropriately, head back to GitHub to retrieve a second piece of code specific to the pet system. Copy this code and return to the app.js file, pasting it at the very end. This step completes the scripting part for integrating the pet system into your server's inventory UI, making it accessible and functional for players. Now, to enable the K9 unit to search players and trucks effectively, a small snippet of code needs to be added to the server side of the inventory system. Begin by opening QB inventory slash server slash main, and look for the line of code that sets the is open state. At this juncture, you have two options. Manually write the code as illustrated in the GitHub documentation, or for ease, join my coding team, where this snippet has already been integrated. You can simply copy and paste it as shown in the video, streamlining the process. Once all coding adjustments have been made, save your changes and revisit the script's config file one last time. While I'm choosing not to make any alterations at this moment, 
it's crucial to verify that the inventory is correctly linked to QB inventory at the end of the file. This ensures that the K9 functionality works as intended, allowing for seamless interaction within the game. Let's move on to testing the script. Remember the coordinates you set in QB shops for the pet market system, which is integrated with the target system, allowing for easy interaction. The configuration file offers flexibility in terms of how many pets can be spawned at the same time, catering to server performance and gameplay balance. Additionally, the pet system incorporates a level system, adding depth and progression to pet ownership. Upon using the pet item for the first time, you're prompted to choose a color and name for your pet, making each companion unique to the player. Through the target system, you can interact with your pet by providing food and water, petting them and more, enhancing the immersion and connection between players and their pets. The default keybind for accessing the companion system functions is O. This opens up a wide range of actions you can perform with your pet. You can direct your pet to move to specific locations, call them back to you, send them to hunt or grab objects, perform tricks, follow you closely, among other interactive features. One of the most exciting aspects is the ability to guide your pet into a vehicle, allowing you to take your companion along for rides across the game world. But here's a piece of lighthearted advice to take with you. Never teach your pets how to drive. While they can be your loyal companions in countless situations, you might just find your car missing in an emergency, much like I did in a playful experiment gone awry. Thank you for joining me in today's tutorial. I hope it inspires you to bring a little extra joy and realism to your server with the addition of furry friends. If you've enjoyed this guide and learned something new, don't forget to hit that like button, share the video with fellow developers or friends, and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. I'm Brave, reminding you to enjoy the fun and unexpected moments that come with server development and gameplay. Until next time, keep exploring the endless possibilities within 5M, and maybe, just maybe, keep an eye on your car keys around your virtual pets. A quick update on our Discord community. The Exquis, previously a separate entity within our main Discord, has now been integrated into a single, unified platform. I'm thrilled to introduce Coden, our dedicated 5M developer hub. With over 650 active users and developers, Coden serves as a vibrant space for those seeking assistance and those eager to lend their expertise. In an effort to streamline support and collaboration, I've restructured the Discord to cater to specific frameworks, making it easier for members to find the help they need. Additionally, I've set up forums where I'll be sharing my latest videos directly, ensuring you have hassle-free access to new script links without the interruption of ads. A extra user forum also provide a space for members to exchange free scripts, request videos on specific topics, and we also have developers who creates custom vehicles and Vinewood logo sign from scratch. Coden is not just a hub for sharing knowledge. It's a community where creativity and collaboration thrive. We're also on the lookout for moderators to help maintain a supportive and engaging environment. So if you're passionate about 5M development, eager to learn, share, or simply be part of an active developer community, Coden is the place for you. Join us and be part of our growing 5M developer hub. Your journey to mastering 5M development starts here.